Well, we're just getting started with eating this morning. So <laughs> since Taylor Swift has been going to games and talking football, NFL ratings have been <laughs> through the roof. Even NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell says that she is good for the sport. So perhaps the Taylor Swift effect will make an impact on the big game. What do you say? Yeah, well, Jason Goldstein, chef and food blogger for Chop Happy, is taking a page from Swift's songbook this morning and creating some Super Bowl dishes inspired by the pop star. So welcome back. So great yes. to have you here. Thank you. I'm so grateful and excited for Taylor Swift-themed game day food. We love Are it. Are you a Swifty? I am totally a Swifty. Oh, oh, yes, it. yes. Everything yes. she touches turns to gold. Well, then so this she is might be onto something. So yep. you might be onto some <coughs> onto something. Sorry, I'm just choking on the pizza that we just scarfed <laughs> down. So let's have some more. Let's begin with nachos. All yeah. right. So food trivia for Taylor Swift. Ready? Oh boy. Her favorite food is chicken fingers. What? Okay. And then a dip where you just take ranch dressing and ketchup and you mix it together. So I made a chicken finger nachos so replace her favorite that's her favorite the chicken finger she dips it in and this is super easy you just put it and assemble it all together a day yeah. before and then put it in the oven when your guests come and then you squeeze on the equal parts of ketchup and ranch and has this sort of huh. tangy sort of herbaceous flavor and I actually don't even like ketchup and I yeah. love this you don't like really? ketchup yeah and oh, I love wow. those I don't yeah. either so yeah. I'm with you on that one okay that is interesting I like the sound of that and so you just kind of it, it, like as if it were a nacho yeah pick you it right up and pick eat it, it up like you're picking up the football and throwing it to Taylor yourself. There you go. Yes. And so then in honor of her song, Seven, yes. you have made what? Seven layer in and out dip. And the reason for this Ooh. is, this is why I love her even more, is her favorite place to eat is in and out oh. oh. So. Okay, Taylor, now uh, I might be liking you. Yeah, so <laughs> inside we have the ground beef at the bottom, right? Okay. And then we have two classic in and out things. We have the sauce. So the sauce is equal parts ketchup or sour cream or mayo. And then you put some relish and pantry seasonings in there. And then the second part right over there is the onions. And it's caramelized onions. And I have a tip for this, ready? Yeah. If you making the caramelized onions, if you put the lid on the pot, it cooks faster, okay. and then you don't have to wait so long for it to go. And then Very we got nice. the cheese, the tomatoes, and the lettuce, and you just take a bun, I was gonna say, what are you, you doing scoop here? this up so you get oh, all okay. the layers, all right. and you have like a little bit of a burger <laughs> oh, in there. I How see. cool is okay. that? So you get it all, oh, okay. oh, I'm making a mess here. I'm That's so okay. sorry. You're I can't supposed eat to. Beef, so. Yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's great. And you can oh, actually make this okay. vegan um, as well, too, or turkey, or chicken. It doesn't matter, yeah. Good, right? Yes, yes. Mm. All right, then what else do you have for us? All right, so now mm. let's throw the football around in a sandwich. So okay. her famous song, The Anti-Hero. Yes. Yep. We're going to make an anti-hero grilled cheese because there's nothing opposite of a hero than a grilled cheese. Yeah. Look how cute these yes. are, though. And Go ahead. We're going to, inside, we have the famous grinder um, where you chop it up all together. Oh, yes, and yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I'm going to try. It's so good, right? Ready for the touchdown, the Taylor Swift touchdown? Wait, so, mm. oh. What's in it? Yes, Pause. so you I'm have. I'm ahead of time. Oh, this is so easy, you ready? Mm -hmm. So you put all your lunch meat, all your veggies on there, and then you just chop it up until it gets nice and chopped, and you chop it all together. And here's the best part, because I don't like to do dishes, especially yeah. when you're having a party. All of your seasonings, your garlic powder, your oregano, nice. everything that would go into an Italian sub yeah. goes there, and salt and pepper. And then olive oil and oh, dirt, all right, there. All okay. right in there. Slam it together. And it comes out looking like confetti at Look a at Taylor this, Swift huh? concert right there. And then to make it more football themed, okay. you can take a cookie cutter, yeah. a football cookie cutter, and you push it down like that, and you shake it just like that, and you get. Shake it off. Yes, just Your like that. Stop it, you. I love that. Uh -huh. Yes, Bye. we have one of those too. And you go like this and like this, both cheese on both sides. Very You're going nice. to put some of your hero in there, your yeah. anti hero. Anti hero. Okay. <laughs> and then you're going to put the top on there. And then a fun tip in order to make sure it browns evenly, use a pastry brush. Oh. And you just brush the butter on there. Yeah. Two minutes on medium per side is all you need. Okay. And you have the perfect grilled cheese. I love, love it. it. These okay. are great. And they look great. And you're very, anything that looks like a football on game day, you're impressed. You're, you're impressing your guests. That's awesome. Amazing. Awesome. Okay. Good score. You score. What? He yes. scores. Yes. Yes. All right. 
All right, this, next. this one is the one that you just sort of alluded to, ready? Shake, it, shake off. it Off, one of my favorite songs, by the way. Okay. And you can shake it off as you make this. Remember the old shake and bake? Yes. Yes, uh -huh. so we're gonna do a shake and bake shrimp. So also, again, because you have guests, who wants to clean up, right? Nobody. Not me. So one bag, Ziploc bag or whatever you have, and then you're gonna put your shrimp in there, some olive oil so it gets wet, so the breadcrumbs stick, and some salt and pepper. Throw your seasoned breadcrumbs in there, and then you just shake it as you're listening to the Taylor Swift song, and you're singing and getting so excited to see her um, in the stands. Very right. nice. It actually literally sticks just like that. You don't yeah. need to do the dredging station. And then um, one of my favorite hacks is you just put on a sheet pan, 15 minutes at 400 degrees, and get the perfect cooked shrimp. Wow. Perfect. Yes. Awesome. And then right there is hot sauce, um, and you can just dip it right into there. Um, nice. It's buffalo sauce, and you get uh, some spiciness if someone wants mm -hmm. it. And if someone wants it just nice and crispy and tangy, that's all they have. I love yeah. it. Okay, cool. Yes. I'm and all about a cocktail. Yes. Finally. Cocktail time. So you can make this cocktail or mocktail. But don't have bad blood with your guests ah, because it's a bad blood cocktail. We got that one. So who wants to spend all this time again because we want to have fun on the game, spot Taylor Swift in the stands. So we have a three ingredient cocktail. So, take a drink every time you spot her. Yes, every time you take a shot. Yes, it's like go. the drinking game for the Super Bowl. So it's just um, blood orange um, soda, a splash of lime, and then gin or vodka. And you can set up a little stand and anyone can put whatever they want yeah. in there. Mm. And it's just tangy and it's refreshing. refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. These are good. And then you get your little Taylor Swift decorations. Yes, yes, so that you're all themed out and everyone enjoys it. You are the perfect party planner. Oh, yeah, hey, thank you very much. Oh, even that's if awesome. You, and even if you don't like Taylor Swift, you can make all these yeah. things. Yeah. These yeah. are great. Great. I like it. It's also not necessarily the traditional, like, game day snacks. You're kind of broadening people's palates a little bit. Yeah. What I like. And okay. it's dinner and um, snack in one because you have, no one gets goes hungry because you have yeah. the burgers, you have the yeah, sandwich, yeah, yeah. so you're all ready to go. Carb happy. All good. Carb happy, yes. chop happy. Yeah. <laughs> and you got your cocktail. There you go. Uh, There's great no to alcohol have you in this. Thank yeah, you guys. There's no alcohol. <laughs>